just been dropped off at Central Station, Sydney. Sun's just come up. It's beautiful. I love the early mornings, it's just a bit cool, but everything is nice and fresh and we are on our way to the station. This is a very old station, well I imagine it's the oldest one in Australia, I don't know about Melbourne but it's had a lot of Renaults in its time and this is the main concourse, people waiting to catch the country trains. We are going on a country train to Wyong. We're off to Seawall today, it's the 10th of September. And we're off to Wyong. Oh, I haven't been up this early to catch a train in years, so fun excursion. So I hope you join me on our trip to Wyong in the train. This station is Hawkesbury River. This train will stop at Kuliwong. We're here and it's quite a big place and there's a race course right there. So hopefully it will be fun. This looks like fun. It does look like fun. It's quite big. Looks like we have to queue. I'll have a look around and then I'll come back. These beautiful things. Speckles.
like those ones. Oh, I have fluff. It's beautiful. Fancy yarns. Oh, they're so beautiful. All these lovely colours. The house of wool. Look at these beautiful colours. There's quite a few big balls around today. Wolf is spinning. Oh, beautiful little balls there. Oh. Gradient. Lovely. Malabrigo. Little project bags. And you're wearing one, obviously. Can you make them? Oh, button. It's sideways. Oh, sideways. Of course it is. A lot of speckles. Look at these beautiful ones. So lovely. Sitting and standing are apparently the same. It's laying, it should be laying now. I mean, I've four weeks, so yes. Mum, you know, Ali? Interesting, doesn't it? Knitting was spring. Paints and dyes for dyeing your own wool. It was very industrious on which you were. Well, we get them by the hundreds. <laughs> and if we had a bucket of them there, like, yeah, they were there forever. So we, well done. I have purchased a, purchased a few of these online. Aren't they lovely? Those beautiful greens. Mild. Speckles. They're lovely. You need extra hands, don't you? <laughs> I have bought some of your yarns before. Sorry, all my pricing is on the other side and I only have one price thing, so. Where? No, 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 I've, I've got more bags on the other side, so. so I'll try it. I didn't realise oh. I was going to separate them, but. This lady is wearing a weekend, uh, Andrea, in Wyong, Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Did you say that there's a mill nearby? Yes. So Claire and Paul own um, Fibre Art Shed, which is a local mill, mini mill that's just down the road. And this is where they produce um, their yarns. Um, we've got a range here of four, eight, and ten ply at the moment. It's so good that um, these small um, mills yes. are coming back. They all disappeared. Yes. Now they're coming back yes, again. And we need to support them. We do. They're the, they're the basis of everyone else. I know. Absolutely. It's so good. Yeah. Look 
at those beautiful big yeah. cones. Wow. Yeah. It will eventually come. Yarns to die for yourself. Just trying to deal with the bills and trying to get my hands on the fiber. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Private mills are coming back. It's so grey. <laughs> Sorry. It looks so different. Yeah, I'm just These beautiful mini minis. They're so beautiful. Silks. So beautiful. Look at these. Oh. Hodgepodge. <laughs> Look at that. Make it. I'm making this one too. And there it is in the flesh, made nicely. <laughs> the litmus. Yes. We have seen this one before. Not the beer. <laughs> A lot of people. Oh, I'm going to get some fancy wool. Oh, silk scarf. Beautiful. Project bags. All the stalls are really busy, which is good. There is whole scar. This lady looks familiar. Jane. Nice project bags. Look. YouTube channel. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm in Dubbo. Oh. I have a retail shop in Dubbo. Look, and they've got little bees on them. They're so beautiful. Bee ribbon. All things bees. Oh, beautiful bees down there. That's the bee lady. There's more. There's another big shed. Oh, this is where you sit down. Looks like a fun place to be. That's it for me. I'm all...
I'm all yarned out. Such a fab day. Oh, we'll have a look at them when I get home. We're on our way home, and for someone who loves trains and train stations, this is one of our older train stations. It's on the Mid North Coast train line, goes to Grafton. Steam trains used to roll through here. For your safety, oh. please remain behind the yellow line at. This is my um, yarns that I got today. These skeins they are so beautiful. And this is what I've come away with. <laughs> I bought six of these beautiful skeins. Fiber Art Shed. So beautiful. They're all DKs. So... This is so lovely. Um, this was milled just down the road from the Fiber Art Show in Wyong. So small mules are coming back. And isn't it beautiful? I'm so glad about that. We need small businesses. This is Natural Yarn Co. I got two of these because they're so beautiful. <laughs> green and white speckles it's four ply so the blues are DK these are four ply so most of them are hand dyed I got two of those I sometimes buy these well I have bought a few sock yarns from this company in Sydney online and I finally got to see them in person and that's it there isn't that just yellow heaven Jackamoma textiles and that is DK speckled duckling I don't know whether it looks like duck eggs I got a skein of this beautiful stuff Oh, it's just so beautiful. Whoops. It's sock. And it is Malabrigo. <laughs> and no dye lot. So that's what it is. It just came like that. It is so beautiful. It's got a green, green colour with purples and blues and speckles. Oh, it's just lovely. And then I got one of these. I thought John might make a shawl with it, but um, he's still on the fence about that one. And it reminds me of uh, Forget-Me-Nots. It's Heather Sock, BFL. And there's 425 metres in it, so that's good. From Glenhaven Knits. They've got an Etsy shop. That is beautiful. I also got um, this at the same shop. Isn't that just beautiful? It's 24 metres of it. just looks like the little forget-me-nots and then I got two of these I'm going to make a shawl with these and they remind me of um, Stephen West's um, fade so I'm not making a Stephen West fade but I will use them in a Stephen West shawl Zuba ball crazy <laughs> And that one also. They don't have names. You think they would have names? But no, I can't see the name. Oh, hang on. 
Yes. They do have a name. Lassa Shima and Malawinkle. Uh, no, Malawinkle. So, yeah, that's what I got. A fun little haul. I also got two pins. Cats. A cat in a ball of wool. My cat would not be game to do that. Whoops. And a sheep. Sean. It was, a, it was a nice day. I think we had a good day. We went to Wyong on the train. It only cost $2.70 return and the bus too. And that was a two-hour train trip there and two hours back and then the bus. It saves a lot on fuel and really good, um, economically good. <laughs> Everybody should travel on the train and the trains were nice and clean and everything and Central Station has been done up and it is beautiful. So yeah, that was our day out. It was a nice Sunday, I think. Did you have a good time, John? Yeah. Yep, he had a good time too. He was with me.